you brought up to me a uh, interview with uh, what's her name, Tommy Laren. Yeah, Tommy Laren went on the Daily Show yeah, with, with Trevor Noah yeah. earlier this I week. I like him. Yeah, you know, I, he, I've been I think he's up doing. For him. Yeah, I think he's doing pretty great. Uh, you know, he's obviously not John Stewart, and a lot of people are still not comfortable with the fact that he's not John Stewart. Hey, he's not Craig Kilborn either. Exactly. That was always him, <laughs> dude. I do. I watched The Daily Show with Craig Kilborn long before. Me too. Yeah. Uh, long before John Stewart took over, and for the longest time, I was like, no, I don't like this guy. He's yeah. Not, he's not Craig Kilborn. Um, but then the minute uh, Indecision 2000 came around, yeah, that, that changed everything right. for me. So, kind of steer me in the direction that you're wanting this discussion to go because okay. I wasn't, yeah, quite following you. Did you did you actually watch the interview? I did. I yeah. watched. I didn't watch the. I watched the 14 minute one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't watch, watch the, the extended. extended one either. But that girl's kind of a bitch. Yeah, she like is a... kind of one of the worst people on the internet right now because yeah, I don't all really know she anything does. About her. All she does in her videos is call uh, protesters, uh, liberals, really anyone that isn't a Trump-supporting conservative, mm -hmm. uh, a whiny, uh, basically a whiny little yeah, bitch. Yeah, and I noticed in the uh, in the clip that he played of one of her videos that she she's talking about protesters being whiny bitches and participation awards. And, yeah. and you know, there's a meme. That is a huge thing with yeah. the conservative movement But you know right what? Now. There's a meme going out around on Facebook and I've seen it a few times being shared by some people that I'm friends with and, and they, they, they reference that and they're like, it wasn't us that demanded yeah. participation awards. We never awards. asked for the participation You awards. guys took it upon yourselves to give those out to yep. us. You know, but whatever. Yeah. You know, the 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 rhetoric amongst a lot of the conservatives and the alt right people are that we're just too much we're just pussies now. Mm -hmm. Which isn't true. No. And and also the rhetoric about the protesters being oh well, you know, that's why you don't see Republicans protesting because they all have mm -hmm. jobs <laughs> whatever dude i mean if you if you honestly believe that every single person that identifies as a liberal doesn't have a job then you're an idiot yeah. you're 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 just dumb yeah and let's get ten thousand trump supporters <coughs> out on a tuesday morning at 10 and 10 o'clock right <laughs> yeah well they're like well, they're, too busy. they're too busy working yeah. and that's that's always the 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 uh the line yeah oh. all those people totally have jobs though then <laughs> right but you know whatever anyway but i do have to say this because they talked a lot about the black lives matter yeah. movement, and and that's kind of one of those things that's being protested right now if you i it's 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 weird to like go into this because mm. we haven't talked about it before but the problem with what's going on in the world today and what and what's been going on for generations mm. for black americans is that they are being oppressed. You know, we have a, a a staggering amount of unarmed black men being shot by police officers. Whether they deserved it or not is up to debate. Mm. Okay? You know, whenever Michael Brown got shot, they're like, oh, well, he had just robbed a liquor store before. Yeah, but the punishment for robbing, robbing somebody is not execution. Yeah. It's not death. Exactly. Right? Uh, the problem is that... These things are happening now, and because we live in a society where everybody carries a camera on them wherever they go, uh, there you can it's more visible now. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas before, there was always that nugget of doubt. Well, maybe that person, surely, if a cop shot him, he deserved it, right? But now we have like video evidence. You know, we have we've seen videos of black men obeying police officers' orders and still being shot and killed. Mm -hmm. And the worst part about it, and I think what makes the Black Lives Matter uh, group so vocal and upset is the lack of accountability mm -hmm. for these police officers. Because a lot of times they're either getting paid leave or getting a slap on the wrist or getting nothing at all. And, you know, that's got to be frustrating. And, and it's hard for me to, like, relate to that as a white man. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, think about it. If your son or your family member, or your friend was obeying orders and got shot by a police officer, wouldn't you be pissed? <laughs> wouldn't you want that police officer? I mean, wouldn't you want justice? Mm. And, and, that's, and that's the thing is, you know, black Americans aren't getting justice. Yeah. And 
they're so sick and tired of, and I'm sick and tired of, every, you know, seeing on the news every week almost, you know, another unarmed person was shot and killed by a police officer. Oh, well, he had his wallet out. Oh, I thought it was a gun. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, they, they need to be training these police officers better and they need to be held accountable i'm not saying that i don't respect police officers of course i'm not, not saying that they aren't necessary to have law and order in this country because they are mm -hmm. but there has to be accountability nobody is above the law nobody should be above the law uh, police officers especially right and you know a punishment for a police officer that you know goes that far out of line during duty should be harsh and should be severe and should send a message to every police officer that this behavior is not acceptable. But unfortunately, you have unions and you have, you know, uh, lobbyists and political agendas that are keeping these people from being held accountable. And you have a whole group of people that have been oppressed since the beginning of this country. And it's just like Trevor Noah said, you know, when she was talking about that Colin Kaepernick guy mm -hmm. who, who took a knee during the, the Star Spangled Banner, he's like, well, how is it okay for a black person? What's the right way for a black yeah. person to protest? Because you don't like it when we're out on the streets. You don't like it, you know, you're going to say we're a thug. So here's someone that's sitting in the corner quietly and it's not acceptable to you either. What is the right way? You tell me. And she couldn't do that. And that kind of gets to ultimately the point that I wanted to talk about primarily because her response to Trevor's request tell me please we want to know what kind of protest is acceptable to you yeah her response to that is tell us what your problem is dude they've been telling you what the problem and is and that is my point we exist all of us in our own social media bubble the echo of chamber E yeah, the yeah. echo chamber of stuff that reinforces our biases. Right. Conservatives do it. Liberals oh, do it. Absolutely. We do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I brought uh, it up on this podcast that maybe, you know, maybe I'm getting trolled. Maybe I need to be looking at stuff exactly. from both sides of the story. So if, if, if conservatives' reaction to Black Lives Matter, to the call for justice, is... Well, tell us why you're angry, guys, and yeah. they're not being told, or they refuse to see because they don't follow any alternative news sources. They just follow Infowars. They follow Breitbart, Fox News yeah. and Breitbart. If those are your only news sources, mm -hmm. if my only news sources are Huffington Post, BuzzFeed, and Upworthy, then... Obviously, I'm only going to get the pro Bernie fucking uh right. <laughs> uh Donald Trump's a maniac shit. Right. And it's 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 a slippery slope, man, and you just kind of have to learn to to look at it a certain way. And it really sucks because I think that the internet and Facebook in a way can make people more bigoted or more liberal because or, it's kind you know, of how their their algorithm is set up the way you're just that being you told what you want to hear the way that you like or unfollow certain things mm -hmm. or uh choose what stuff you choose to follow like oh i like uh earth porn that's a great page uh and so then i get shown all of these um you know climate change websites and stuff right uh i i happened to like this page from the other 98% yeah. three years ago during the, the Occupy Wall Street movement. Right. I'm still seeing stuff about the Occupy Wall Street movement. Is that even still a movement? No, it's not. It hasn't been for two years. Right. But it kind of merged itself into Bernie Sanders stuff. So, uh, right. you know, I like a bunch of Bernie Sanders stuff. So I see all of that stuff still. Well, I mean... And I've created my own bubble, my yeah, own echo curated, chamber. Yeah, and, and we all do that. It and actually takes me going out and talking face-to-face -face with our Trump-supporting friends. Right. Uh, we have a couple of them that we just do be like, karaoke and Explain to me with. why you, you believe this, you know... And right. and legitimately talking face to face with them, they are more or less reasonable people. They have good intentions for all of right. the failings that they have forced upon us by voting Trump into right. office. 
they have a good point, ultimately, that the government has been working against the people for a long time, but only because it's been working for corporations. But right. you just hired the billionaire corporation yeah. fucking mouthpiece. Yeah. Like, like you're like, not... You're, how is he going to have any of your best interests in mind? You're Why, working You're working from the right frame set in your mind, but you, but got the you wrong person. ultimately picked the complete wrong person. Well, he's not a politician. He just says what he wants. That's not a good thing. You know, there's something about being... There's something to be said about being diplomatic and speaking with poise and character and being able to you know uh bring two opposing parties together and, and work together and i don't think trump possesses those qualities i mean we'll see because we're gonna have to yeah you know it's like we said whenever he got elected i'm not i'm not leaving mm -hmm. you know just as as long as you and i are free to continue doing things like this yeah as long as we're not going to get sued because we have a, a dissenting opinion then you know that's all we can do yeah Right. And and vote. And, you know, if there's any time now where a midterm election is very important, it's now mm -hmm. uh, we got to start thinking about two years from now. And whenever we're you know, we have midterm elections, let's get some more people that are going to represent us in there. If that's you know, if you know, if that's what you're into. Exactly. If you are a, a leftist. Well, even if you're on uh, the side that supported Trump because he was the anti-establishment candidate, yeah. you are still not going to be represented right. by Trump's and, government. And, and that's the thing. Are Trump's supporters and his voters, are they going to hold him accountable? Well, and, and actually, uh, Trevor Noah asked Tommy Lahren that very question in mm -hmm. the interview that sort of sparked this whole conversation. And she says... Absolutely. I will call him out on his stuff. If he does not stand for the things that I stand for, I will call well, him out. Let's let's hope they do. Unfortunately, she, you know, stands for a bunch of dumb shit. So, right. But, you know, let's see. 